Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia Mullins. Today I'm going to show you how I created this simple look. So if you want to see how I did the look, continue to watch. So the first thing I have to do is I have to spray down my hair because it helps me braid my hair better. I don't know if that makes sense. But spraying my hair, it does help me braid my um braid my hair, twist my hair, whatever. So right now I'm just making these parts and I'm going to link below the person that I that inspired me to do this make this makeup, this hairstyle because I can't really say her name, but I actually like to go on natural 4C hair stylist pages to get inspiration to do my hair because I'm tired. I, I don't like wearing my hair down all the time. I feel like it's boring. I feel like it has no personality. It doesn't make me stand out. But even though my sister locks do make me stand out because I can't even tell you how many times people come up to me and try to touch my hair. I don't know why they do that. But anyway, back to what's going on. So I made these parts and the first, well, right now I'm just braiding my hair down so that they can hang down. And let me just say like this time, not having like the beauty supply store, oh my God, you will appreciate it so much more because... The way that the girl, the lady, the woman did her hair, she actually added the beads at the end. And I was like, oh my God, that would be so cute. Like, bring me back to my days of actually getting my hair braided, having the beads in and all that stuff. But guess what? My beauty supply store is closed and Walmart doesn't have any of the big beads that I would need. Uh, Michael's only has like the arts and crafts beads, so I couldn't even use those. So yeah, I really do miss my beauty supply store and I cannot wait till they open up again. So right now, you're going to see me struggle so much doing these, doing this hairstyle because, oh my gosh, like I have little hairs growing, well, my edges is growing in and I actually, I was actually able to make them into locks. Now, I'm not sure if I actually did it right, but hey, I'm trying and I'm learning. So, right here, I'm just trying to grab the little lock and just like braid that up. So, each side has two braids going up and then one braid going down. The two braids, I measured it from the front of my ear. <laughs> yeah that face just says it all like my arms were so tight but anyway the two braids going up I measured it from the front of my ear and then the braid going down I measured it from behind my ear I hope that makes sense like I think on the other side of my head I'm gonna show you like how I did it I'm not even over right, this braid who knows so right here yeah my arms were like so tight and I like I don't know my my shoulders are just so weak and that's what I get from laying on my side. For anybody that lays on your side, be careful because that could like deteriorate your muscles or something. Like don't quote me on that, but I just know that my personal trainer told me that I have very old women aren't shoulders because I lay on my shoulder at night. If you hear someone in the background, that's my mom just singing. She's cleaning up downstairs. I don't know what she, to, no honestly, I really don't know what she's doing, but when she sings, she's either cleaning or cooking speaking of cooking I was actually thinking about posting a video every Saturday me and my son and I just cooking a meal for you guys so if you would like that just leave a comment below on whether or not you would like that but anyway back to this I'm still braiding this but actually I took the braids out and I put the rubber band at the very end of the braids well, like, ugh, at the end, like, not like at the end of the, um, free, like, the flying hair. I just put it at the end of, like, the very braid itself. Like, the cornrow itself. So, because, like, leaving it braided, I felt like I just did that because it kept the flyaways out of my, um, like the fly flyaways out of my ha um hands of me cornrowing it into another cornrow if that makes sense but yeah I need to get better at this cornrow and stuff like I just learned and let me just say I'm proud of the work that I do but oh my god I need to get some upper body strength because this is crazy my shoulder 
was in so much pain after doing this. But I have to say, like, I think I'm getting better. So practice makes perfect. And every week I'm going to give you guys a hairstyle from a 4C hairstylist that I see on YouTube or Instagram or somewhere else. Like, I actually miss being a free, like, a natural. But I have to say, like, with my sister locks, it's really, like, the same thing. Because look at how little the locks are and I can still do these hairstyles. Like, that's exactly why I freaking love my locks. <sighs> yeah, me doing the old woman show dance. <laughs> so, in the back, I'm going to form three, um, three flat twists going straight up so that all the... The braids and the twist could meet up and uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. Can meet up together and I could put them into a bun. Whatever bun I could possibly put it in. <laughs> and another thing, I really miss the freaking hair store right now because oh my gosh, like I wanted to add accessories to this look. And I'm sorry you can't see me uh flat twisting up. But me, like, sitting up and doing it, I found it so difficult to do. So I was just leaning on my desk, and I was just <laughs> flat twisting upwards so that my arms could rest for a little bit. Uh. Yeah, so I was actually also thinking about the um, doing, like... That wax that we could put on our hair and it doesn't cause any damage. I was thinking more of a silver, maybe silver and blue. I don't know, like, I don't know what it is about the silver that's really like attractive to me, but I really want to try it. So I'm gonna order it from Amazon and hopefully it comes soon. Even if it doesn't, it'll be up here eventually because I really want to try it. So yeah, like I said before, I was going to take the braids out and the twists out because I couldn't make a bun, like a neat, a, a nice decent bun with all the hair braided or twisted up. Like I wanted it to be free. I wanted my babies to be free. <laughs> and Tigger is just in the background, just relaxing and everything. I had that Tigger since 2000. I want to say eight and I went to the pin relays that ticket has gone with me to two pin relays so yeah I will never throw that ticket out like he's been with me forever now so yeah because <laughs> I know most of you guys are probably like why the heck does she have that ticket on her bed like yeah that's my little cuddle buddy and my son tries to steal him all the time oh my gosh I can't So yeah, after you put the rubber bands at the end of every single um, braid or twist, you're just going to like get all the hairs together. And for me, I have a lot of like flyaway um, strands. So what I try to do is I'll put like um, safety pins. Is it safety pins? Bobby pins. I'm going to just say bobby pins. I put a, like the bobby pins in the bun so that the... um. So that the flyaways won't like stick out as much. That's like one of the problems I always have with the hairstyle. Like the flyaways always like pop out. Every lock has its own personality. Sometimes they cooperate, sometimes they don't. So right here I thought that I was going to um I thought it'll be best if I just like twist the um hair, but all in all, at the end, I was just like, nah, I think it's best if I just let them hang out and let them just be themselves and just try to put it up in a bun. This is me learning, like, what works best with my hair because I wasn't even following the, um, the woman's, uh, tutorial. I was just, um, uh, going off of memory See, and there I go again, just taking the hair out again. I was thinking about leaving it like that for a while, like just let it hang loose. But I was like, eh, nah. Because if I do that, then I'm going to have to curl it because the front of my hair, I was going, I'm going to curl it with the perm rods. 
I don't know what it is about me and perm rods, but I feel like I freaking love curly. I love my hair in a curl. And right here, I was debating if I should, um, like, cornrow it. Cornrow it down like the lady, like the woman did in her video. But at the end of the day, I was like, no, it'll look better if I just, um, corn, if I just perm rod it. And in the morning, just take the perm rods out and that's that. So this is me just putting eight, uh, eight locks on a perm rod. That's my number for every single time I put perm rods in. Or even if I do the flexi rods, so it's always the number eight. And once again, my own locks are being themselves. Like some of them are listening, some of them aren't. Like at the end of the perm rod, you'll probably see like a group or like one or two strands of hair just like popping out or whatever just misbehaving and ugh gotta love my hair gotta love it gotta love it yeah so I had to take that one out and redo it because I gotta make sure that my curls are looking good so that was actually like two hours and I did my makeup and watched some more YouTube or whatever or watched the movie with my family yeah watched the movie with my family we watched what was it oh I forgot the name of the movie we watched some movie I forgot it was a Denzel Washington movie and this guy was just like it was some military movie I can't even remember it right now but it was very good so yeah in the morning well not in the morning well after we got finished watching that took the perms out perm rise out did my makeup really quick and Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry I just wanna, for that. I want to get those off my bucket list. Then I'm going to start like saying. And now I'm just putting accessories in my hair. Like this is all that I could find in my um my like little accessories box for my hair. Are the little like clips. I want to actually get this shells and see if the shells could actually like stick to my locks because I love that look and I actually just watched a movie on Netflix called Sprinter because I don't know if I told you guys this but I miss sprinting like crazy so anything that's like sport related and also I'm very competitive so anything sport related I will gladly like watch so I'm just adding a few clips to my hair and I hope you guys enjoy this look and that is that is all. I hope to see some recreations. I'm going to tag the lady that I got the inspiration from. And I will see you next weekend, guys. Bye.